Hi, George. Hey. Hey, this is, uh, what, third day of IAPA? Yes. Still pretty, plenty busy. Very busy and today, the Sokoa, yes. the Sokoa booth uh, has been very busy for the very whole Very busy, fortunately, I yes. want the people to know that uh, George, I call him Jorge, is the founder of Sokoa. Right. And how long has Sokoa been around? The company was uh, started in 1957 with a little route of jukeboxes. Bullets 2104 at that time. I was 10 years old. My job was to change title stripes, records, wash the records every once in a while, change the needles, and collect the machine while dad was in the States dealing with the Sugarmans buying the first pinballs and bingos back in 1959. I was 12 by that time. That's how the amusement side started. Pinballs, bingos, until in 1969 we opened the first family entertainment centers. And where was this? In that, this was in Mar del Plata. Yeah. It, was, it is still our flagship. It is one block long, 20 meters wide. That was the year Sebastian was born, 1969. At that time the word family entertainment center did not exist in the, in the States. Sure. They were called arcades. <laughs> So we had a family entertainment center with puppets, theaters, uh, and very um, innocent games like ping pong and uh, other uh, skill games at that time. Most of the games were illegal. We had to fight the authorities year by year to authorize uh, pool tables, to authorize shooting games, to authorize driving games and then video games in the 70s. So it was a... Um, how, how many family entertainment centers do you now have through we, uh, Latin and South America? We, we uh, had at one point in the good, good times like 45 centers. Now we're down to less than 20, uh, mostly in shopping malls and seaside resorts. And when did, what, what was the year that you started uh, knowing that you want to invent the debit card system? Well, the inflation in our country made us think very uh, carefully about what solution could we give. And in 1992, I said we need to get rid of the tokens and the coins where we got rid in years before that. So I started thinking on a, of a debit card and we, by, uh, in, in four or five months, we developed the system. By uh, March 1993, we opened the first store with a debit card system huge success. We got 40% increase in the collections. We were able for the first time to put the price in the games according to the present entertainment value, which meant a, a Miss Pac-Man should be 25 cents, but a good driving game should be $2 or $3. And the only way to do that was through the card system. The card system. Yes. Now, is it, now, I guess fast forward, this is like 25th anniversary? Yes, that was 1992, so it's 25th anniversary, yes. And tell, tell us why everybody should have a Sokoa debit card system. To make more money, that's it. To make more money, be safe, get better reports, and sail in a boat while your store is making money and you get all the reports. And you don't need to go collect every game in the cash box, you know. Sure. <laughs> what, what are some of the... Um, advantages over other competitors? We invented most of the features the systems have, so most of them copy what we do. We had one of the competitors that started a few years before we did in universities doing copy, um, photocopy machines with a device, with a card, but their system was read-write. They wrote back in the card the balance of the account. And that was extremely unreliable. People could erase the card and claim they had a, a number of dollars. People could clone the cards. It was very, very unreliable. So we decided to make it read-only. It's like a bank account. All you have in the card is an ID number. Right. There's nothing you can tamper with. Okay. How, many, how many systems do you have now worldwide? Everybody wants to always keep I, up with I that. stopped counting, but there are thousands. Thousands? Thousands. Like 2,000? 3,000? Probably 2,000. 2,000. Yes. That, that's yes. quite an accomplishment. Yes. I also know that uh, we have many of your systems. Like 60 countries have our systems. And, and one of the advantages we enjoy is that you don't charge us a monthly fee. That's correct. 
we do not charge monthly fees. And Most uh, of the others do. That, that is a big, big plus. Yes, yes, we know. And we give all the software updates, all upgrades without any charge. And we do custom programming without charge. Many customers have different ideas. We put everything in the system. We think that by getting the feedback, the right feedback from customers, and putting those as features in the system, enriches us all. So we do it. You do a great job. Thank you. And we, we thank you. Thank you. Tremendously. Thank you. Thank you, George. Thank you, Frank.